yeah. Well, Japan, they, they like being harsh on everything. Yeah. Well, it's like they'll they'll be very harsh on some things. You know, like they'll they'll go oh, like you know. I mean, obviously with all the the stuff that made the rounds is all the tourist stuff. They'll pick <laughs> the most extreme solution yeah. to mundane problems. Yeah. And then when there's actually yeah. a problem, they'll be like, ah, sure gonna I nah. No, no. What they, it's you, too difficult to tackle. Have you yeah. seen the guy who was at the Hachigo statue with like the massive sign? Yeah, yeah I saw that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Carl, can you put it up? Which one? Such up. Uh, so the, there was this guy. Uh, who was apparently standing outside of Hachiko statue yeah. with a massive sign for tourists. Okay. With just like do's and don'ts. And yeah. this is, this is like, you, you know, you know, when you like- uh, It was the, the one, uh, yeah. second row, third. Yeah, that one. That, that one? one? Yeah. This is, this is like going through the terms and conditions. Uh, look how big this look is. Look at this. Welcome to Japan, but <laughs> zombie traveler proliferation alert. <laughs> Stop forcing English. Yeah. Japanese people also have privacy. You, you are, are a pervert, pervert and a stalker. <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Kabukicho is not a place for sightseeing. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wander around with a can of alcohol. Bro, are you, you look at some of this and then you're like, have you seen your salary, man? Have, yeah. Uh, have Do you not carelessly enter entertainment facilities and game halls managed by adult entertainment businesses. Why? <laughs> They're there for a reason. You can live without a trash can on the street corner. Okay, I mean, I agree with that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is it okay for you to be there? Japanese trains are a meditation space. <laughs> okay, look, I, I get- No, my, my favorite part is yeah. right at the bottom. Japan travel, travel tips. tips. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, after all of those, uh, here's some places I recommend. Okay, look, I, I get- there's a part of me, I'm looking at this from both sides. I yeah. get the whole thing of, okay, it is true. There are a ton of tourists in Japan that oh, are no, being most definitely. absolute shitheads, right? Most like definitely. being completely yeah. disrespectful, uh, you know, not realizing that there are different, you know, ethical rules for different countries and stuff like that. And then on the other side of the coin, you get people like this who are trying to send that kind of encouraging message to not be a dickhead to these tourists, yeah. but just doing it in the worst way possible. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes them look like dickheads. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, I mean, I, I I think it's insane just to like just to see how big of a boom in tourism that Japan has gotten mm. to the point where it's just like I don't know if the infrastructure is like prepared for it, no. especially a city like Kyoto. Which oh my god, yeah. Well, they had the they had the what was it? What was it? They the, shut down. They had yeah. to shut down the uh, shut down the uh yeah the, the, the Gyoendori. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, had yeah, to, yeah. They had to shut that down. I just think, oh man, it's so weird. I like the the whole Fuji debacle was uh, oh, the the wall that they was made? like. Do you want to explain for anyone? Who yeah, so know? there was a Lawson's people kept taking pictures of because it looks cool. It looks like Japan. There's a Fuji and a Lawson's. Yeah, and there was a whole conversation around like why are they doing this? You know, why are tourists so stupid? Why are they turning up and taking pictures? Mm. And then we're like, when you actually like look, when you actually like have a a, a think as to what's going on here, so. What all of these articles and all of these discussions and, and everything and even like YouTubers talk about it didn't include was that like, so this Lawson's right. Mm. The reason why people were flocking to this Lawson in particular and it was such a problem is because about I don't know fifty meters, uh, like I think like east of it is literally where all of the buses, the train stations, mm. all of them stop. Yeah, that's where they end. Yeah. So obviously, when they get off a bus ride or a train ride, what are you going to do? You're going to go to the fucking combini. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. see Fuji in a combini, you're going to take a picture. People, they, they made it seem like people were like going out of their way to come to this Lawson's yeah. to p take pictures and be a nuisance. I it's like, no, you had all of the train stations and all the buses stop here. That's why people are taking photos. And then why, why would you think the solution is to then try and cover up with this shit piece of tarp yeah. that cost locals 1 million yen, $8,000. Why was that the solution? Turn it in, try and manage it, to try and make money from this. To, like give, like if the tourists are gonna do this, find a way to then monetize this, find a way to kind of regulate oh, it. Yeah. People are gonna take advantage of it, no matter what you're doing. Or well, it's just like, how do you regulate it? How, like you can't, it's, it's it's a it's a it's a balancing act, right? Because right now there is just like so many tourists in yep. Japan mm. to the point where it's it's weird to think that Japan has kind of become 
because of the exchange rate, it's kind of become like a cheap holiday now, mm, comparatively. Yeah. If you can mm, afford the, yeah. if, you, if you can afford the uh, ticket, then comparatively to a lot of like European holidays, especially, mm. um, it's just become a cheap holiday destination. And, you know, you get tourists coming in that come in knowing that it's a cheap holiday destination, but the service that they get mm. is not cheap at all. Yeah. It's, it's like it's like premium. This mm. is, you know, you, you normally play a premium for the services you get in Japan. Mm. Um, so you just have this situation where because of all of, because of the situation, so many people are flooding in to a point where I don't think Japan has ever had this many tourists flood in in a single time before. Oh mm. no. Um, and they're just not prepared for it. <laughs> yeah. a, no. They're not prepared to, uh, handle this many people. Which, you know, yeah, which I mean, is which is ironic as well, because, you know, they were certainly prepared for it before the Olympics got canceled. Well, and then I, they were like, oh, that's not never gonna happen again. And yeah. then it happened. And then it happened. I think, I think yeah. the thing is like the businesses and the government were like, we want tourism. But then obviously like the day-to-day -day people who are around it are like, well, I don't really, I don't really want that many tourists. Yeah. yeah. And so there's kind of like a disconnect between businesses that want to make money and, and governments want to make money. And then the local people who are like, I just kind of want to work, but yeah. yeah, it's like, it's it's a lot to deal with. But this one, I, I don't know. I just felt like this was the worst solution of all. Oh no, 100%. This was like, yeah. cause not only did it not work, it made a huge spectacle about it, attracting more tourists, <laughs> Yep. Yeah. right? When I feel like- Cause now they're coming to see the wall. <laughs> yeah, now, now they're coming to like go to the place where all this drama's happening. Yeah. Yeah. I just exactly. felt like, it, like and, and, and time and time again, Japan always choose the option of like, destroying or getting rid of the thing as yeah. opposed to like maybe taking advantage of it. There yeah. was like a, I remember Chris was telling me about, there was like a tree somewhere in Hokkaido. There was one tree in the middle of a field that looked amazing to take photos with. Mm. Uh, and I guess to get to the tree, I think occasionally people were going over like, I think it was like private property. Right. Mm -hmm. And the solution was, what do you think the solution was for the Japanese? Cut the tree Cut down. Cut the tree down. Yeah. Which is like, this is <laughs> like, what a way, like, <sighs> Like if, if this was the UK, they would have made a fucking line. They would have had like a stall there. They yeah. would have had a guy who like you pay to take pictures. Yeah. Like they would have, they would have like the guy, like, there would be opportunistic people who would be willing to do, take do advantage you think, of Do you this. think Japan, the J Japanese culture want that though? Because it's, it's- Yeah, but if your culture's getting it regardless, like mm -hmm. you, you would have to completely close the borders again. Yeah. You are going yeah. to get this. It's not whether you want it or not. People are going to show up at a Lawson's. It's a, it's a conflict of You can either sit here and complain about yeah. it, put up yeah. expensive walls that don't work, or you can find a way to work around it and make it easier to manage these tourists that are inevitably going to come. We yeah. can't undo the clock. We can't say like, we don't want tourists. They, they, they're coming. It's, it's a you conflict of yeah. interest, right? Because in the case with say like, you know, uh, Fuji Kawaguchiko, which is where the Lawson yeah. thing is, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you know, the government, the local government is looking at like the amount of money that's coming into the country through tourism and is going like, oh, this is great. We're getting a lot of money. Like it's helping us to like, you know, grow the town out. And you know, this is income that we haven't seen ever since before the pandemic. So this is awesome. But then there's a conflict of interest of the people who live there who are like, no, nah, I just want to be fucking peaceful. I don't, well, I don't really need it. Like, yeah, the extra money is cool, but now I'm tossed up between like, do I struggle to get customers, but also not have to deal with foreigners or deal with foreigners and get the money? Well, I think the problem is we've seen this cycle of like the, the tourism cycle so many yeah. times before. Mm. Um, and it's like, the real question is, is the money going to the government or is it actually going to the local people and the local businesses? Mm. Cause yeah. there's so many like, there's so many examples like right now where like Hawaii, for example, where, yeah. you know, tourism made a big boom to this place. Mm put the prices up and then you're getting to a point where like even locals can't afford to live there anymore yeah. just yeah, because I mean, they, everything's they, they, become so inflated. Mm. They do the, I know some places in Shibuya have started doing dual pricing. Yeah. Where oh, really? For, well, so the, it's instead of wording it, the foreigners get charged more, it's worded normally that this is the normal price and locals get discounts. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously that's a little, it's a little unfortunate because sometimes, uh, us <laughs> who live here, who yeah. look foreign, it's mm. a little awkward when you're like, "No, nah, I'm good. I'll have the I'll have the local price, please." Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> it's like but stop like, capping. <laughs> but like, in, in in a way, like, I kind of I kind of understand the pushback because you know, I've, 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 I've seen yeah. it a lot with my own country, with Thailand. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I went to a uh, went to a Thai boxing match, and it got to the point where because so many tourists are watching Thai boxing matches. The, the the local people, the Thai population can't actually go watch a boxing match yeah. of, of like their own local boxing teams mm. and fighters and shit like that. And you know, in a that, way I mean, it, is, sucks, it is sad, yeah. it's, it's, it's sad, you know. It's, I mean, it's great for the 
econ- the, the economy, yeah. but not the, for the local economy, arguable for the country economy, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, but I guess like if there's a demand there and people are showing up, it's kind of mm-hmm. like, there's not really much you can do and then figure out how to at least make this manageable for for you as the business owner, which means normally just catering to those people that are showing up and yeah. want to pay more, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but you know, it's just kind of how it works. Like mm-hmm. I don't, like Japan is trying to push back on this, or at least local people are trying to push back on this. Yeah. And it just gives this weird mixed message of like, you're not welcome, mm. which is which is fine if they're not. Like it's like, they're not. you don't have to be welcome everywhere. You're not entitled to be. But then it's also like, you are then in turn creating more problems for yourself because you are not just just being like, how do I deal with this in a way that can mm. just benefit everyone? Mm. Um, you know, I don't know. Well, you yeah. know, Japan has had the history of uh, being very not welcoming to the yeah. outside world. Yeah, you know, I mean, it so. has, right? Like, yeah. and, and you know, what was their first solution? Cut it all off, and yes. then America came a knocking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> America was like, uh, knock, knock. <laughs> I brought Jesus. <laughs> like, I mean, you know, when you when you look at anything Japanese related online, especially when you read comments, it's mm. very obvious that like people people how many people do not like tourists at all. Oh, at no, least, no, at least no. online. Like, yeah. I mean, when you're talking to people on the street, it's very different, but like net- netizens are, are very against oh, no, I idea. can very openly say that I think Japanese people deep down are some of the most xenophobic people like yeah. in the world. Well, and I mean, it's unfortunate. The fact that you can do a policy of like, hey, look, I'm gonna charge a local versus a foreigner this pricing. And then how is it based off of? Well, there's only one way to- gauge. How you look, baby. <laughs> yeah, which is like, a, it's, a, it's such a, like if you try to do this in, uh, any Western country, we'd be like, oh my god! Could be, you imagine yeah. if they tried to do it in America? Yeah, it'd be you wouldn't you wouldn't. It, it would, would be a fucking war. You'd, you would be shut down. Yeah, hundred percent. Sh- you know, but the f- I mean, Japan is such a mo- homogenous country where you know this is you can get kind of get away with it. And also yeah. the the Gion one, uh, I think they shut down the district the district obviously now and they charge a ten thousand yen fine if mm. you go in there. Mm. And the language on the, the thing says something along the lines of like private property you can't enter. Yeah, yeah. But originally when they were having the conversation, it was banning only tourists. Yeah. And the, there's a lot of questions being like, how do you determine who's a tourist? Yeah. Like that's such <laughs> that's a- That's a very weird, dicey- uh... This is like, you just stop every guy that isn't Japanese yeah. looking and then be like, excuse me, yeah. like pay the money. And you're like, fuck off. Like, right, it's like here, a bitch. Zaryu card, you, you, get, you get like a bouncer. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. It's, like, <laughs> it's just, and, just it, you know, and, then, and then is it fair that you stop everyone <laughs> that doesn't look you know, like you yeah. just let all the Asians through. Like, yeah. like, like, the like Chinese I mean, tourists are like, all right. I think a lot of these are just objectively bad solutions. No, it it's is. like a problem. Like is, is- But Japan has historically been so good at that of just looking at a problem and going, I have a solution. It is the worst solution yeah. ever. Well, I'd say, and also like other things that I saw that just made me think like, what do you do in Japan? Like I saw a guy that a father and a son got arrested for making Kamen Rider masks. And selling them. Oh yeah, they got like oh, ten seriously? years. In, ten, something like. Can you, can you Google this? I did some, see that. The sentence was ridiculous because it was against uh, copyright. Because right? they broke the copyright. Oh, selling. Okay. They didn't home. get. Okay. They didn't get. Uh, uh, you know, fucking written approval. Yeah, or something. I can't remember. They were being charged with something outrageous. What I thought. Uh, yeah, click on 65 it. Sixty-five-year-old twins. Sixty-five-year-old twins. Um, they're being uh, scroll down. So scroll down. Uh, t- each, ten million uh, yen. Uh, younger brother selling them for about two man or each so for about five years and earned about 10 million yen. Um, I can't remember what they were going to charge them. They were going to charge them with, I think, I can't remember what I saw. It sounded ridiculous. But either way, it's ridiculous. You are arresting a guy for running an Etsy store. Yeah. <laughs> like I obviously you can, you have the right to stop them from selling that, but I just yeah. don't think you should be arrested. No. Yeah. Obviously, I, I, we don't know the full story. They could have been menaces for years. They could have been breaching copyright for- Menaces. They, they, they could have literally been, they could have been doing this- They could have been up. devious. Like, obviously, if you breach copyright, right? I, I think that there needs to be consequences if you're, you know, because that's, that's how it works. We need, we need rules. Yeah, for sure. But there needs to be like, you know, uh, there needs to be a limit about about what you can do. Yeah. The dude was selling masks with his brother. This was not like a global operation. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they're like, we're smuggling masks yeah. out of the country. <laughs> you know I mean? like, it's like, why? It's why? like a drug bust. Like Japan will take the low hanging fruit and will like throw the SWAT team. They'll throw the crazy police at it. Yeah. And they'll make a big spectacle over arresting a guy who was making fucking Kamen Rider masks. Yeah, well, yeah, because the Japanese police are probably thinking like, oh, but finally then, like, something, something like to serious do. Serious stuff that like, a- they actually could like start addressing. They're like, <laughs> Yeah, right. Nah, bro, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go arrest another guy who sells Nintendo Switch games with cheat codes on them. Like, oh my God. 
<laughs> like for fuck's sake. It's ridiculous. Can you, like, it's just so, sometimes it's so depressing watching like, I don't know, just, just seeing the choices that the, the local governments or police makes where you're like, this is just so dumb. I mean, I knew it was going down the shitter, especially like at the beginning of the pandemic when the government was like, all right, we need to help all of the, the you know, the, the Inaka towns yeah. out because mm -hmm. no one's traveling there anymore. So what's our solution? We could like maybe give them a grant or something. Nah. Oh, I know. We'll do this thing called the go to campaign <laughs> where we give every, where we basically pay for everybody's like, you know, Travel. vacations. Yeah. And uh, so they can support the government, uh, support the local governments. And then someone was like, yeah, but wouldn't that like spread COVID more? They're like, yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of, you know, and it's obviously the when they, they uh, a lot done. of short-sighted policies, like obviously when they had the whole uh, message about please drink more because kids aren't drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Because 20 year old people, kids, sorry, kids aren't drinking as much. Yeah. They were like, we need people to drink more. It's like, yeah. What? No, we don't. No, this is we a great don't. Thing. No, we don't. This is a great thing. Don't make people drink more. What the fuck are you talking about? It's it's all short sighted, man. They never think long term about anything, and it's um, actually terrifying. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's just a shame because you're, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, you're like, why? Uh, why? Well, why do we, why is the solution to people taking pictures to put up a tarp that is clearly not going to do anything? Also, think, did, what's did, stopping did it people? No, it it got, no, it's got holes, it's got holes in it already. <laughs> yeah, people just poking holes and then sticking the lens. Yeah, through it. like oh. obviously, there's there's the only way they could fix it if they built like a concrete wall around this loss and yeah. had like a military esque <laughs> checkpoint. And don't give Japan ideas. I didn't say that. Also, there's really literally funny. nothing. Sto there's literally nothing stopping people from just walking around the top and just taking it from the other side. It I is. Just, it was the biggest fucking waste of money ever. Well, I, I don't know. It's just like. What, why why specifically that? Why specifically that point? I just told you. I just told you earlier. Because it's, it, because it's right it, next be, to the bus station. Yeah, and also because it's the perfect vantage point of Mount Fuji sitting directly on top of the Lawson. So Japanese people are like, oh, kawaii. Yeah. It's literally just because it was right next to where you, everyone got off the bus and train. Yeah, went to the Lawsons to get their snacks, get waters, and then they would see the view. Yeah, no, I mean, what, what what I meant to say was like, I mean, Mount Fuji ain't exactly small. No, no. no. <laughs> well, yeah, again, again. Like, it's, it's it's not like you can only take pictures of Mount Fuji on like one angle, you know? Yeah, I, I, I was, again, again, I, that's why I was asking. Yeah. It's, like, it's like, why don't we just walk, walk down the road? It's like, no, it needs to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Most people aren't like going out of their way to get pictures, right? So yeah. I think it's yeah. just, it was literally- it's the, convenience. It was yeah. the, the closest shot that looked kind of like, oh wow, Japan. Mm, uh, yeah. That just happened to be there, right? And again, like, I just wish that they thought of a better solution. Why not have like, I, don't, I know they already had like a, I think they already had a guy there who mm. was like shuffling people away and whatnot. Which is probably realistically the only thing they could do. Yeah. I don't Problem think is there's you have anything. to fucking hire a guy just to like people manage in 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 a law sense. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean it's dumb, you know, it's yeah. it's, it's dumb. I, I'm sure the the I don't know, like <laughs> if the if it was that bad for the Lawsons, they would be interested as well in hiring some staff to, to Yeah, I mean I mean yeah, the, sure. the only thing you can do is hope that the money that all these tourists are coming into the local area is actually getting bet is actually getting back to the local people you know that's that's yeah. Yeah. that is the only hope you can get uh because if it's not then you have a bunch of people who live there who are just getting annoyed by tourists any uh, every day and they don't see any difference in their business and, and they have an addition of an ugly wall <laughs> yeah yeah exactly, exactly that they probably <laughs> had to pay for with their taxpayer money yeah, so exactly. it's like cool eight thousand dollars for that wall <laughs> everyone wins eight thousand dollars for the yeah. cheapest wall i've seen in my life <laughs> Jesus I, I think Christ. my wall in twitchcom was more <laughs> more useful than that <laughs> yeah that's what they should do they should have a white wall that people can draw on yeah they should have yeah. done that yeah. you know what I mean? just like, distract them Anyway. We should just make a photo point and like herd the people. There. Yeah. Like, I feel like you just make a, a little square area and herd people there. Yeah. And yeah. it's like 100 yen. Oh, you know? maybe not that, but like. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, if, if they wanted to, right? Like, they could easily be like, oh, you want to get the perfect angle? You know, 50 yen to like come into here and take it with like. <laughs> bro, no, bro, 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 how are you going to enforce that? Get, get the picture everyone, police no, everyone, on it. Yeah. Like, get the picture no, police. I, yeah, get the picture police. You know, hey, get, put, the, put that phone away. Yeah. Hey, 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 that's a hundred yen per picture, actually. I feel like there was just so many better ways than building a shit wall. Yeah, no, hundred percent. We're going to build a wall. Fuji. It's going to be the best wall. And the tourists are going to pay for it. <laughs> I got away. Let's just, uh, let's just get rid of Mount Fuji. That's yeah. what they would do. I think that's the Japan's like- the, the Japan like, is like hoping it erupts soon. Japan, Japan, is like, 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 please. Japan is like, please. Japan is like, it's taking too long to erupt right now. Yeah. This is so embarrassing. We, yeah. we, the tourists are ruining Fuji. We've decided to ship Fuji off to Okinawa. 
<laughs> we decided to cut it out like a Looney Tunes ass saw. Yeah, <laughs> we just got a bunch yeah. of dynamite together and we'll just make the explosion up. ourselves. Yeah. God damn, it's just like, yeah, it's just, I just go, the solutions they come up with for just over tourism is just so, oh God. It's so brain dead.